Hey everybody, welcome to QuickBooks Made Easy Quick Tips. This is March of 2018 and once a month we send out this little e-newsletter to those people that sign up with a YouTube video that kind of shows you something about QuickBooks, makes things a little bit easier for yourself. I'm Greg Bossen and I'm in the middle of tax season right now. It's March of 2018 so I'm kind of crazed. But anyway, this month the tip is going to be about adding your logo to your sales forms. So if you use QuickBooks to enter sales and you send forms to your customers, either invoices or uh, sales receipts or even estimates, credit memos, you can add your logo to the form. So I'm gonna do this to an invoice. I'm just gonna click on an invoice that we already have here. And this is what I'm talking about. QuickBooks has kind of a standard invoice template as a standard for all the forms, it says invoice on the top, but you know, might want to pretty this up, add your logo, make it nice. And there's all kinds of things you can do to these forms. And what you want to do is you, when you are on a form for an individual invoice, doesn't matter what invoice you're in, click customize and it'll take you to where you can edit the template for this form for all of your customers, not just the one customer we just got to it through one customer so i'm just in an invoice doesn't matter which invoice it is and here you'll see you can either create a new style here's the standard one we all get or we can edit one and i'm going to go ahead and edit it and i would encourage you to do this so now it's taking me to this is what the invoice looks like and we can change the way it looks we can do all sorts of things actually i can change the up the template here and change the style of it. I actually like the area a little bit better, but there's fresh and there's bold and there's friendly. <laughs> I'll do area. But anyway, that's not even the topic. The topic is how to add a logo. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click make logo edits. Now you may have already uploaded your logo to the QuickBooks, uh, to your QuickBooks account. It kind of asks you to do that when you're first setting up. And if you did do that, then there'll be a logo here already. But if you haven't done that, then this just says add a logo. You click it. And then basically you just want to browse through your computer uh, until you find where your logo is. And it'll take a JPEG or a GIF, all kinds of images. Here is a logo right here. So I'm going to click it and I'm going to click open and now the logo is uploaded and you can see it automatically created it to the added it to the form and put it on the right hand side but I could put it on the left hand side could put it in the middle I like it on the right hand side and also I can make it small I can make it medium and now I can make it large now I don't have much more in the way of flexibility in terms of where it goes or how big it is other than just these choices here but I still think this is pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and click done. And now we'll take us back to our little form here. Actually, it takes us all the way back to the beginning of the program. Ah, there we go. Now it takes us to the form. So now when I print or preview this thing, now you'll see the logo. So that's pretty cool. And once you have it there, you'll be able to add the logo on all of your other sales forms. All right. And I think that's it. That was really a very quick topic. Quick is good, right? If you need any more help, you have any questions, go to quickbooksmadeeasy.com. You can also sign up for this little email video newsletter that gets sent once a month to you so you don't have to search for me online. And I think that's it. And I will talk to you later.